It was a busy night at Attleboro High School last Thursday as the school held its annual Blue Pride Night. There, upcoming middle school students and parents had an opportunity to survey all of the diverse extracurricular activities offered by the high school. We spoke with Principal Bill Rooney about the students and the activities the school has to offer. Blue Pride Night is where we showcase all of our programs. It's, you know, viewed by some as an open house for middle school students to get a sense of what Attleboro High School has to offer. Uh, but really the way we look at it internally is uh, a way for um, us all to come together as a community to, uh, to show all the programs that we have. I think it's important that um, a school demonstrate all that it has to offer. And we are a comprehensive high school. I mean, we have outstanding academic programs. Uh, we offer advanced placement classes in about anything that anybody would want to uh, have access to. Uh, but we also have a, a very strong uh, career and tech ed program. Uh, CTE program has offerings that range all the way from engineering and graphic design to medical assisting, uh, carpentry, welding and joining. So really there is, there's practically something here for everyone. And so in order for our middle school students to have uh, a sense of the direction that they want to go once they get to high school, much like you know high school seniors operate when they're choosing a college, we want to be able to put a showcase together that gives our middle school students um, a sense of everything that we have to, to give them. Tonight is a night for them to figure out what Attleboro High School has to offer for them. So we have all the clubs are represented, all the athletics are represented, um, all the um, AP classes are represented, and then the department chairs from all the academic houses are here as well as CTE is open. People will be given um, guided tours through the eight programs, um, early childhood, engineering, um, in culinary, they're actually making a Thanksgiving dinner and having samples. People can taste samples. Um, automotive is open, um, medical assisting, and we have SkillsUSA here. Our English portfolio class is also represented here tonight. Carpentry is open, and our brand new plumbing program is open. Every freshman goes through a career search. Um, their first year here. Um, the state is putting real emphasis and the federal government is putting real emphasis too on kids leaving high school being career ready. So what the kids are doing is they'll ex um, spend um, somewhere around eight or nine days in each of 14 programs including their guidance counselor and a library science and an entrepreneurial experience and they'll have an, a chance to not only find out what they have a passion for, but find out what they don't like. And so that's a, a really important piece of information, too, to find out what I don't want to do. Um, and then we sort of um, tailor their educational experience for the rest of the time here at Alabar High School based on what their career choice is. So if it was a um, student who was really interested in going into criminal justice, we might um, encourage them to do forensics for their science and law for their social studies um, electives. If they were um, in engineering, we'd really encourage that they did like um, an AP computer science class or um, some of the higher levels of math classes as well. We encourage as much parent involvement as possible and I think one of the ways that parents feel more a part of the community is um, just the sheer number of times that they can come into the building, um, meet people, and have a comfort level that when their student comes to school that uh, not only are they safe, uh, but they're, they're also um, around good people who are looking to, to foster as much of their growth as possible. So, you know, from a parent perspective, I think it just simply uh, re reduces some of that anxiety that is natural for parents to have when their child transitions out of middle school because once they get to high school they're so much more mobile um, you know they, they have a tendency to communicate a lot less and so for parents to be able to come here and realize that uh, you know that we are here to partner with them you know to help uh, to help their child grow I think is one of the most uh, beneficial aspects for a parent I don't care what high school you are, you owe it to a high school student to get them prepared for whatever their next step is in life. If their path is the college route, then great. You know, you have to have an academic program that will, uh, that will suit those needs. Uh, but, you know, in today's economy and, you know, the college tuitions being as, as tough as they are to come up with, there are so many students that are going into uh, the career paths 
uh, or in the military. And you know, for us to be able to um, have not only the academic programs, but also to have the extracurriculars that enable the students to be involved and start learning time management skills and being able to learn how to balance um, all the things that they have to, to deal with in life is, is um, really what we're all about.